Welcome back to the bubble, ladies and gentlemen. We are back at it again with Cossax 3. And actually, uh, this match I will be facing two uh, very hard computers. I got that recommended to me on one of my uh, last videos. I have no idea how this is gonna turn out. I have played um, several very hard computers before, but that was on the uh, first edition of Cossax, not Cossax 3. So I have no idea what to expect, and I'll apologize on the forehand if uh, I might zone out every now and again while playing because I'm uh, really gonna try to concentrate, and my goal will be not to lose within the first half hour. So let's get into it. Of course, I'm playing as Sweden, and my very hard opponents will be Russia and Denmark, uh, agent arch enemies of uh, the Swedish Kingdom during this era, of course. Uh, most of the Swedish uh, wars during the uh, Big Nordic War, for example, and um, several other campaigns, of course, have been waged against Denmark and also Russia. So, uh, of course, there's a lot at stake right here. And I will try to do them proud. I know that there is at least one um, unique unit for Sweden, being the uh, Hakapelites, I think. It was a Finnish cavalry unit during, uh, during this time for Sweden. And I think that is, um, that is one of the uh, unique units available. But now, of course, it's gonna be twice as hard. I will be playing against two uh, computers, so I will need to build up some walls uh, and also a lot of towers to defend myself. I really just hope that they will not be sending a bunch of um, a bunch of Cossacks, a bunch of really fast cavalry, because then I will have a bad day. That's for sure. I will not be producing any pikemen yet, because um, as you know, I always use pikemen for scouting. And um, right now I'm very low on food. Because I uh, always get the first upgrade to increase my, uh, increase my harvesting. But that always gets me in a very low position when it comes to food. So I need to time this efficiently, which... Um, it worked out okay for this time, because as soon as they start dropping off food at the mill, then uh, I will be okay, basically. They just need to get that first bag of, uh, of wheat or of crops in. And there we go. So now we can start production of peasants, and also I will cr um, create a couple of, recruit a couple of pikemen to send them to each one of the corners, of course, to um, to uh, make myself aware of my surroundings because I need to know from which locations the uh, my opponents will be coming from if they will be coming from the west or the south or southwest very important so um, now in the beginning I will send all of my peasants immediately to food because that will be um, the resource that I will lack the most I'm already a bit behind. Russia is uh, in the lead with the points and also uh, Denmark is ahead of me. But I think that's because both of them have the markets up already. While I'm not that quick. So there we go. We have four pikemen. I press A, which means that they will move and attack everything in their way. And then I'll send each of them down to uh, the different corners. One very important task for me this early on will be to get my second town hall, of course. I need to get that one going as fast as humanly possible. Be because when that one's up, then... Um, when that one's up, then basically I will double all of my production. So, of course... Um, the sooner I get the more peasants, the sooner I get more resources, and then I will be able to transition into my second barracks, 18th century, etc, etc. But very much of my tactic will of course be on, um, on harassing my opponent as much as possible. 
because without harassing my opponent, they will both have unlimited uh, attention on uh, on me. So they will, they will of course be very quick to um, to bombard my village and basically eradicate me completely. But uh, I will of course have to make sure that that doesn't happen, and I will make sure of that by being the one who does the harassing. Sending, uh, maybe I'll go straight into Siege Cossacks, or maybe I will, um, I will start off with my stable, but that, of course, that cavalry is a lot slower. So I'll try to go with Siege Cossacks, maybe five for each of the cities, and then, of course, as soon as I get peasants from their villages, then I can start off um, civilizations from there, uh, from, like, uh, from Denmark and from Russia. So that will be really important because then all the production costs for the Den from the Danish building start from like zero compared to um, compared to the Swedish buildings. So then I will double or triple in the very best case scenario the production of um, not only the the living space, of course, the population space, but also the unit production from like 18th century buildings, 17th century buildings and that will be so important later on in the game. And now starting to get good on the wood section so now we're sending all of them to um, to stone rather, insta uh, rather instead of instead of lumber because I need my second town hall and there we go now we got it and I will build that right there, and then I will send the peasants out to uh, stone excavation, stone extraction as soon as uh, they're ready to go. And also, I need to start working more on mines because, of course, gold and iron will be um, will be the resources the resources that I will lack the most. So that's also why I want to go heavy on um, extracting stone because you can sell stone at quite a, quite a reasonable price and you don't chop it down, it will always be there. And I can put like 100, 100, 150 peasants on each of the stone points. Which will really help me uh, get my economy going. If you look at that, my food production is going quite smoothly. Did I say stone? I meant food. Anyway, my uh, food production also is going quite smoothly. So I will be focusing on um, uh, switching places in some of my peasants to get them going on stone and to get them going on uh, wood and different um, and different minerals and different metals. So far, I mean, uh, at least I'm in the lead against uh, Denmark, but Russia is coming at me hard. They're not coming at me hard, they're coming at the points hard. But I mean, I just need to keep, uh, keep on producing and keep on, um, and keep on building. Um, uh, I can't really have the luxury of, um, of stopping my productions, unfortunately. But I have my second iron mine in the very front, I do not like that at all. I want as many mines as possible as far back as possible, so my city basically is between me and my opponents. And uh, I'm starting to get a bit nervous that I'm not up to my academy yet. As soon as they uh, get their academy up and going, then, um, then uh, they will surpass me in points quickly. Okay, sending some more peasants on to gold. That is really good because I will need those resources badly. And at least I'm not attacked yet. And we're almost 10 minutes into the game and I'm still kicking everyone. I'm still kicking. Which I'm of course very excited about. Very excited indeed. So far, I will not get this upgrade to uh, increase my field capacity. So far, it's okay, since I don't have that many peasants working on it. But, um, I mean, upgrading my troops costs a lot of food. 
you just saw how all of my uh, food vanished just because of this upgrade. The fencing drill. Increasing the attack for my troops, and of course I need them to be as good as possible. But I... okay, most likely... Hmm... this is interesting. Might it be that I have no one to the south of me, and both of them are to the southwest and to the west? Could be, could be. Okay, there we go. We have the uh, ability to build a academy, and we are going for it, ladies and gentlemen. Because we need it. We need the upgrades, and also we need... There we go. So we have one section over there. So far, it doesn't seem like I have any opponents on this side, and there is no mine here. This makes me nervous. Because, um, I mean, I must have missed them, basically. And that's really frustrating. I want to know not only what love is, but where my opponents are. No idle peasants, at least. That's good. And now we're going up on stone, and finally we're going on our second barracks. This is so important to have us. There we got it. There we go. That guy can stand right over there. So I know we have the Danish right over there. And we have our Russians down to the southwest. So uh, it's to the northwest that we currently don't have any opponents. I want this upgrade. I want it like yesterday. But I guess, first of all, we'll go on food. But of course, I need the stone excavation upgrades as soon as possible. Because I need, um, I need stone for uh, my economy, basically. Okay, guys. Can we get that tower up and going, maybe? And also, I will be going, uh, I will need to go quite heavy on artillery, actually. Because, um... Because I will not be able to produce troops fast enough to go one-on-one, -on -one or one-on-two. One-on-one, times two, whatever, against their troops. I will not have uh, have the possibility to do that because I don't I can't produce troops fast enough basically. And I will want more wood. So I I'm going to send a couple of my stone guys, a couple of my stoners to uh, work on the wood line. Okay. At least I'm happy that this um, this mountain is right here because that means that um, my opponents will split up and that's where we have our our second gold mine right at the very front I couldn't be sadder about that fact okay and now we lost our um, our Danish scout that makes me sad of course okay let's go yeah, idle peasants go on the wood line. You, I will also send to the wood line. I need 3,000 iron and 1,550 gold. Let's see how that helped. That, that helped quite a lot, actually. So, as soon as I'm up to 3,000... There we go. Hey, oh my god, just give me the upgrade. There we go. There we go. So, now the stone production is gonna get going as well, and that's gonna be really good for me. Good news. But we are so low on several of our resources, and I do not like that one bit. So I'll need to get my guys going on 
on iron and gold and coal and everything. Everything. I need more of everything and I need it now. Eight idle peasants. I will send you to the wood line. And I can sell some stone for coal. What's the situation on... There we have our first enemy unit. And fortunately, this little guy is leading them away. And I'm really grateful. Really grateful. Okay, the next town hall, 6,300 of each. So I'm actually going to be one of those guys who sell a bunch of stone for wood so I can get that building building uh, up and going as soon as possible. But I also need this building, of course. Hmm. And I will need a couple of cannons to get this going. My hands are starting to get really sweaty. I'm starting to get nervous about this. Because that unit is not going to be fun at all for me to uh, to charge into. And But I will start with uh, forming um, formations with my troops. Because that will give them better armor and better attack. And I will need all the help I can possibly get. And also, I'm pretty sure I will be uh, so closing off this southern part as soon as I can afford it. Um, as soon as I'm kind of more balanced with uh, with my economy okay what can I do now I need to upgrade my troops a lot but I need more food for that and we are up in stone again there we go our second town hall is coming up and also I'll be spreading out a couple of pikemen here and there because when, I'm not saying if, I'm saying when, their uh, super fast cavalry, I would really be surprised if they don't come with Sish Cossacks and try to um, and try to bring me down from, from the sides, because that's what I would do. When they come, I need to be prepared, because if I don't have um, sentries, or soldiers posted up at the mines and at the uh, different resource spots, etc. Then, uh, then they'll bring me down and they'll bring me down quite easily. Because they will capture all of my peasants and ruin my economy very quickly. And I do not want that. Of course not. Still having some idle peasants. I'm going to send them to the diplomatic center because I will be going with the Kozak strategy myself and just got the opportunity to build a second stable I will take it because cavalry is of course the uh, most important unit when you want to be mobile cost a bunch of gold to upgrade that one I don't think they will be coming on with with um, artillery of their own too quickly I really hope not, at least. Now I can afford that one. I'm building, building, recruiting a couple of Sish Cossacks because they are fast, they are weak as hell. It's like uh, straws on motorcycles because they uh, don't take any damage at all. But they are fast and my strategy, if, uh, if I'm able to hold it for long enough, will be to uh, go from the sides to attack my opponent and focusing on like On, um, on vulnerable peasants, basically. The peasants that aren't protected by, uh, that aren't protected by, um, by soldiers of any kind. Because if there are soldiers of any kind, then my, uh, my cavalry will be toast. And I do not want that to happen. Okay, let's see, I have two cannons right now, and I will need to speed up that building a lot. And now, okay, these are the guys, the Hakapelita. 
the Hackapellites. Light horsemen effective for diver diversionary raids, fast building time, high movement speed. These are the guys that I want. And that of course means that I will need this upgrade as soon as possible. And I will create... Oh, Swedish writer. The Swedish writers. I think these guys look really cool. So I will be recruiting both writers and Hackapellites in one of them. And in the other, only Hackapellites. Look at that, they're so fast. These guys are awesome. I hope. Otherwise, I'm gonna be toast. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna build one tower over there as well. Still having three idols. And I will send them to uh, extract some stone. And now we're gonna... The... Uh, now our wood production will go a lot quicker as well. Oh my god. God, this was not what was supposed to happen. Look at that. They just rode into one squad of pikemen and they died like that. Hopefully, my Hackapellites will not be quite as weak. But I need this upgrade. 8,200 coal, 5,300 iron, 3,600 gold. Yeah, that's a lot of resources that I need. That means that I will need to upgrade some mines and also send out some more troops. And uh, I'll also need to start raiding Russia as soon as possible. I'll actually send these guys through the middle. Yeah, or... Yeah, through the middle. Uh, because hopefully they won't be uh, running into any trouble along the way. Which, of course, is uh, very important for my brilliant plan to, to work. Here they come. And I actually think that I will try a little something. Okay, I have two formations of pikemen ready to rock and roll. However, I am a bit sad that I don't have any more... Uh, that I don't have more cannons or more units More units basically, but I will try to send a couple of muskets musketeers around To um, to draw out my adversaries my opponents to Draw them out into the open and look at that. We can build another town hall That is amazing news Sending a couple of more peasants to the uh, to the mines. Now we gotta start upgrading our artillery, and it might not be the best option to start with the decreased cost. But you know, it might be, might also not be. To be or not to be, that is the question. Building another cannon tower right there. And we also will need a bunch of monks. And these guys will be sending these recruits, these peasants, right over there. And we'll build a second storehouse. It was not the best position that I've ever, ever built a storehouse, but I guess it'll just have to work. We'll have to make do, because we need to upgrade to the 18th century as soon as possible. We still need the cathedral for that. And we still have a bunch of Hackapellites, and I guess my Hackapellites died as well. They ran into something. How ironic. Okay, but I, okay, screw that. I will go straight up to the north because I know they're not going to be there, and then Russia is going to be my main adversary for, uh, or my main um, victim, I guess. Harassment victim from the very beginning. And now we have the monastery as well. So tell me, what do I need to upgrade to the 18th century? A lot of food and a lot of gold. Let's start off with gold. 5,000. There we have that. Let's see how much food I can get. Oh my golly. I do not have enough. I do not have enough uh, stone to get enough wood uh, food because I need quite a lot of it. 
I'm a bit nervous that they haven't attacked me yet. Let's see, I still have a bunch of idle peasants. Keep building stables. Still a couple of idols. Send them on the... Um, send them on uh, food harvesting. Hmm, let's see. It looks like my, uh, my plan to harass them into attacking me hasn't worked out very well. Hopefully it's because I still have troops spread out. Oh my golly. Now, those are some troops. So, now I just did some firing on them. Hopefully, my guys are fast enough. But uh, just harassing them and try to pull them into this little situation that we got going here. I am marking those cannons as one. So, no matter, no matter where I am, if I press one, I'll always select those cannons. So there we go. Can I reach them soon, do you think? I mean, they are at an elevated position. Look at that. That is good, that is good. That I can already start. You really understand the importance of artillery right now, I guess. Because uh, I would really like to have some musketeers here as well. Oh my god, I'm running out of dwellings. But, I mean, just because I had a couple of cannons... I was able to... Um, I was able to eradicate eradicate those guys by only losing like one pikeman and a couple of uh, musketeers. But I mean, I take that trade. I take it. Hakapelites, let's see if you can attack the Sish Cossacks. And now we're getting another production. I'm gonna go with Hakapelites again because I need these guys like all day, every day, everywhere. Right now. Because if I don't have them then I can't keep up with my harassments and then I will be toast and I do not want to be toast I want to be victorious okay let's see what we got going here we got another coal mine right over there I'll send these guys to watch over it and of course it's not good that I'm already out of population space I will really hope that that works itself out with my hackapelites because I am not near having the um, having a sufficient amount of food yet to go up to the 18th century. But oh my God, gold! It's always gold. It's all about the money. There we go. Now we're going up to the 18th century, which will give me the um, ability to purchase this upgrade, and that means that I will be able to see the whole map, and that will be so crucial. From a, from a strategic standpoint. Let's see, where did I lose someone? I lost someone right over there. Just filling up my lines. And also, I will start recruiting uh, musketeers from that position. And no, oh, there we go. Let's see how they do against the Sish Cossacks. Nine Hakapelites. Look at that, I didn't lose a single one. They lost Sish six. I think six, six or five, whatever, Sish Cossacks. And that's a testament to, these guys are basically unup, uh, unupgraded, untrained. But still, we managed to uh, bring those guys down, and that is important. Still even more Hakapelites now, sending them over as well to the west. Because I want to harass these guys. Let's see. Okay, okay, okay. Only had we had one guard there. We don't have any mines so far to harass. We got that one right there. Of course the best would the the best scenario would be if I'm able to capture this mine. Because then I will get 
uh, the peasants inside. But that did not happen. But okay, at least since I'm uh, attacking their settlement right now, that means that most likely their units, um, most likely their units fall back from attacking me. However, those siege cossacks came out of nowhere. I'm really happy that I got these pikemen right here because otherwise I would uh, I would be in a really bad place. They would have captured my um, they would have captured my troops and everything. Okay, so we still need this damn stable upgrade. This one, three thousand six hundred. I've been so slow on getting that one. I'm sorry for that, guys. But now we're gonna get it, and then uh, the cavalry is gonna be a lot easier and a lot faster to, re to uh, recruit. Okay, so now we're into the 18th century. Now let's get me some gold. So I can build my first 18th century barracks. Then of course I need stone. Okay, because I am not quite... Um, I'm not happy with not being able to um, to capture from the other civilization yet. I'm not happy about that at all. And I did not cap I did not capture any peasants, and that kind of sucks. But if you look at that, the game time uh, for now is 30 minutes and uh, almost 31 minutes. And I'm gonna try to keep my episodes like half an hour long. So I'm actually just gonna stop this one. And uh, then I'll, um, I guess I'll see you in the next episode of the next uh, 30 minutes or so of this game. But to, uh, to sum it up, so far Sweden against Denmark and Russia. I'm still alive after 30 minutes. I'm so proud of myself. I don't know why they haven't attacked me more than they have. But I'm just really grateful that they haven't. Because that gives me more uh, opportunities to harass and to uh, strengthen my own base. And for the next episode, of course, I will keep on harassing with my Hakapelites, really fast cavalry. And I also like playing with the unique units, so the writers and also uh, the Hakapelites, even though they're 17th century, I still think they're cool. So I'm gonna play a bit more of them. But we're also now in the 18th century, finally, felt like it took forever. I guess the fastest 18th century might be like 10, 12 minutes or something. But uh, I like taking my time. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching this first uh, episode I don't know how many this uh, how many episodes this game is gonna take most likely a couple because the last uh, game I played I think it became like five episodes so I really hope um, I hope this one is not gonna be that long but as long as it's entertaining for you of course it's good for me so I hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you in the next one